Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about my video editing setup that I have here on the desk. I use it for productivity. That's the main thing I use a desktop for. This is my 2014 iMac 5K. This was the first 5K that came out. Now it's, it is a gorgeous machine. It's been flawless. I'm still using the original keyboard, the original mouse. Over the years I picked up this 32 inch Samsung. This is a 1080p, so this is 5K, 1080p. You can see that the brightness on this one doesn't match this one. This was a very low dollar monitor at the time, but it came in very handy. But the, the iMac has done a wonderful job. But along came this laptop. Now this is the M4 Pro, and this M4 Pro is to replace this iMac 5K. Now, I, I struggled with getting the, the Mini, the Mac Mini, and then for the, the extra dollars, I decided that the battery, the speakers, the camera, the portability was, was worth the value. Now, I bought this open box for a hundred and something dollars less, and at the time, it was a couple weeks before Black Friday, Black Friday came along, and there was a sale again, and Best Buy has matching prices. So they match their own sale price. So I got another $150 knocked off. A very good purchase for the value. But it's not a desktop. So the screen is good for traveling, but it's too small for me. So I plugged it in here and I used it with these two monitors here. It changed my way of thinking to where I would like to have one screen that matches. So I have always liked the people, the desktops that have the monitor bar with the arms and the two matching, two matching monitors. And that is what I would have liked this to be, but it wasn't the case. I have to use the stuff that I have. So I've been looking into monitors and the, with the bar, the adjustments, two matching monitors, that sort of thing. But what I decided after all the research was to try a wide, widescreen, the, um, what do they call it, WHD, super wide, high definition. It's a 5K by 1440, and it just showed up today. The box is huge, but it's going to replace this. So I'm going to um, get a new cover for my old desk and set this up, and hopefully that the new, it's an OLED panel, the colors should pop. I've, I really like the looks of OLED. I, my, my phone has OLED. My Samsung phone has a beautiful screen on it. So all in all, this new monitor is supposed to be a good setup, but we're going to get a look at it and see how it will replace this. So here's a closer look at the two monitors. I really found myself using the 1080p more because I like the, the real estate, the 32 inch screen, even though the colors are off. But when I final do a final edit, I would check it out on the 5K. After looking at this, 8k screen here the screen just the colors are just so good they just so vibrant so let's get a look at the size of this box i think it's like unbelievable now the box does have a little hole in the bottom of it a little tear some tears on the corner they just uh carried it up here and the seal hasn't been broken this is an MSI 491CQP QD OLED. And it is OLED 144Hz 0.03 MS GTG OLED Care 2.0. It has, I don't know what the GI is, and it has 90 watt charging. Curved gaming monitor. 491 CQP. Let's cut the seal and get a look at it. This thing is massive. So the stand is wrapped up really nice, all metal. Hopefully, you can see that. Now, I say it's a little big. It's got uh, nice rubber pads on the bottom and a screw that screws in. Hopefully, 
I hope it'll work on the desk okay. We have a HDMI cable. We have a USB cable. This is display port to display port. We got the uh, quick start guide and this is the vertical part of the stand. And it looks real nice. It's got a plastic cover on the outside with aluminum on the inside and a snap in, snaps in the back of the monitor. And we have the power cable. The back has a clear plastic protector and sleeve on it. And the way I've seen everybody else, you just put this in. So here we are looking at it, the back of it all clear wrapped. And the, Stand is in position and we have to put the bottom on. So the feet lock just like that. Show that again. So this is the base. And then you probably, it's probably a quarter 20, you just tighten it up. Lift it up just like that, and hopefully kick this box out of the way. I can sit this down out of the way. Just like that. Please carefully tear off protective film with two hands. So we do have protective film. There was somewhere I read that it said it didn't come with any. But clearly it does. Look at that. That is beautiful. Screen, so when I get the clear off of there, the glare should be less than it is right now. Okay, here we go. That's a satisfying peel there, guys. Coming off very nice. There it is. It is taped down really well. There we go, we got it started. I'm gonna plug it in now with just the USB-C. Oh, I got a light now. Here we go, MSI, HDMI. Now we may not have a picture because I'm not plugged in, I'm only plugged into USB-C. We do have a picture, and that picture is coming through the USB-C port, which is wonderful. That is great. Okay, allow accessory to connect. Yes. Okay. It says 49 OLED, OLED 51 by 1440 default, and we have 144 hertz. Okay, to rearrange displays, drag them to desire. To mirror displays, hold option while dragging them on top of each other. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay, on top of the other one. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We've got the main screen. All these models with 144 are slap in the face at the price point, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so far, so good. I was, I was all the read, reading that I did about text. Well, I know, let's open up. Let's get out a full screen and let's open up some uh, Amazon. Give me a new window. I got a lot to learn here, guys. Amazon, I want to see what an Amazon... How many screens? I know everybody says it's 227 inches, but how do they look with how many windows we can get here? So let's do a new new window. Let's do another Amazon. All right, so three, you can do three and a half probably, depending on how small you want them to be or how big you want them to be. So let me see. So there we are. I got three productivity windows open. 
And let's open up. Let me connect my hard drive. Susceptible to overheating and shutting down. Florida is a tough, tough area. We're lower than one third now. I never full for full uh, transparency. I never put all those filters on something. I wanted to push the machine. I wanted to see. Okay. Like I said, it's just a video with a bunch of filters on it. Supervi supervision by an adult. Well, there you have it, guys. What do you think? I'm not through yet. I'm still going to get a uh, cover for the top of this desk, this old desk I've had with me for probably 30 years. And I got a few things. I got a keyboard and a mouse and a trackpad coming. And even maybe a monitor light up here. We'll see how that works out. But I just wanted to share you the first looks at this 49 inch on my desk compared to my iMac and my 32 inch. I think it looks a lot neater. I don't care for the cable management on the bottom of this monitor. I really don't. It's really, they should have put the plugs up higher or something and made it so that they're not coming down right here at the bottom. Not a big deal, but you know when you're trying to clean up all your wiring, I am impressed that I am able to run straight out of this 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 Thunderbolt 5 port straight to the monitor with no HDMI. So I have a cable coming that I probably have to send back because I'm not going to need it. I, of course, I can still hook up to my other laptop here too, my Windows machine. But I've got a lot to learn about it. I'm going to be busy. Hopefully this video was came out okay. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.